So today we are visiting the George Washington uh, birthplace monument. So the kids picked up their Junior Ranger booklets and then uh, we're going to go try and learn some stuff about George Washington and his birthplace. George Washington uh, birthplace National Monument, which is a part of the National Park Service. It is, I mean, less than a five minute drive from our campground, which uh, we're staying at Harbor View Thousand Trails in Colonial Beach, Virginia. So short little trip, took us about five minutes to get here. Visitor Center right now is closed, but um, you can still pick up the Junior Ranger packet. Once you go there, it's just a nice little walk through these beautiful trees up here over to the uh, house he was born in. And then I believe his, uh, I don't know, his grandfather's house and then maybe his stepbrother's house, something. I don't know. That's why I'm here to learn more about it. So. is how they used to make different tools and they used to make things like things that they would need these are really what the tools looked like back then Never meant to be a copy, facsimile, or reproduction of the original home. Okay. It is a clone. Let's move the guest paper. The name, well, it was a work person. The American Red Cross. In the 1920s and 30s, the people of the so This was actually, that's actually the back of the house, and this is actually the front of the house. Because they put the front of the house facing the water that's how people traveled so that's how they got their groceries that's how they got everything that they needed was the boats would come up and park down there and then they would have to go down there and get everything this would have been a pretty nice yard to play in huh so this was their garden this is where they would grow like crops and stuff for them to eat So this is like the garden in Peter Rabbit. So this is where they would grow all kinds of food. So that way, because they didn't have grocery stores back then. So they, they didn't have grocery stores. So they had to grow their own food. Exactly what time it is. Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. So we just took a tour of the museum that is here, uh, right over here, and basically it's not a replica of George Washington's house, but more of a replica of what a house in uh, colonial times would have been. So they weren't looking to do a exact replica of the actual house he was in, but some pretty interesting information that's in there. So. If you are in this area, I mean, it's probably took us less than an hour to walk this entire thing. So, like I said, well worth it, especially if you're at the uh, Harbor View Thousand Trails because it's f less than five minutes away. Now we're taking a nice little stroll around the nature trail here. So you can follow the museum kind of history trail. And then there's also a nature trail here. Uh, kind of goes around the perimeter of the property here beautiful views of the waterways around here too so if you have the time to take the nature trail too go ahead and do it you will not regret it trust me works oh, oh. Yeah. see how big it is compared yeah. to like other little small in front of you is Pope's Creek Beyond is the Potomac River. So 
way back there is the Potomac River where we were yesterday. Every Potomac River plantation. Somebody is going to get a Junior Ranger badge. to help. I promise to help. George Washington Birthplace. George Washington Birthplace. I will continue to learn. I will continue to learn. More about George Washington and the park. More about George Washington and the park. So I can protect it. So I can protect it. For years to come. For years to come. Sounds like someone just earned their Good. George Washington Junior Ranger badge. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. you get to keep the booklet also. And you also get a sticker that goes along with the book. Congratulations. Awesome. That's great. You're welcome. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Don't stop.